Welcome back Dante. Welcome to Rita. Tepuk tangan dong guys. Three thousand people here. Yeah. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. And then standard question: How are you doing, Dante? I'm I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Everything is okay. How are you? Ah, oh, I'm doing great too. Thank That's you good. so much. And long flights. Yeah, long uh, flights. How many hours? It was uh, almost 15. Really? Almost 15 hours. Yeah. Oh. A so, long time. But are you good today, or still jet lag? I am jet lag. <laughs> I'm exhausted for sure. <laughs> okay. Introduce yourself to all my followers Hello. and my subscribers. Okay. Uh, my name is Dante Kennedy. Uh, I am the music director and entertainment director for Q's Bar and Lounge and for Palazzo Versace Hotel. Mm -hmm. And I have my own company called Vortex Music Group. Send in. Uh, you as a manager for Jeremy and the band, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, they are so curious too. Where you come from, Dante? Oh, I am from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, in United States. That's my home. That's my home. That's that's where I'm from. As a musician, when you start your music role, and then please share me and all my for all my followers about the story. Okay, so I started playing drums. I was three years old and started taking music lessons, music theory lessons at the age of seven, seven mm -hmm. or eight years old. Um, and I also teach music theory now to kids. But um, yeah, I started off playing drums. My, my father is a drummer, my mom's a singer. Mm -hmm. And, um, uh, you know, I come from a history of, of, of church, of playing mm -hmm. in church and, and my entire family is in the music industry. That's, ah. that's where I come from. Where I learned about music. Yeah. Father taught me about music um, when I was younger, my mom mm. as well. But I used to go to this music school called Gibson's Music in Fifth Street in uh, Philadelphia, mm. along with uh, this, this uh, legendary drummer named Garfield Williams. He used to teach me music theory and drums and stuff like that back in the States. But I, I used to come home from school every day and every single day I had a different genre of music I would play. Mm -hmm. So one day it would be gospel, another day jazz. And then I would just go through every genre every day after school until mm. I could figure out how to play all types of music. Oh, yeah, that's nice. So as we know, uh, for now you are uh, as a manager for uh, Jeremy and mm -hmm. the band. So tell me the story. Where you met that? Um, interesting. I met Emmanuel, the keyboardist, yeah. through a Facebook post I put up two years ago looking oh, for musicians. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our player Zach mm. last December, I believe he was in Dubai doing mm. the gig and he came to Q's and we connected here. Pavel I met as well through uh, online uh, ad I did looking for musicians for Q's. Mm -hmm. And Jeremy, I knew him from, you know, seeing him perform in Pennsylvania. So um, okay. it was just an easy, easy call once I remembered like, oh, let me call Jeremy, see if he wants to come to Dubai. So it worked oh. out, it worked out perfectly for him mm. and for me. And you're happy with that? Oh, yeah. Very, very great decision. I do not regret that at all. He's phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So what's the hard things to do to be as a manager for BAM, especially? Because you have to maintain it's not only one. Yeah. Is a, um, a lot of communication, organizing, mm -hmm. and understanding the task of what you need to do to 
uh, make the shows run. For instance, when I play drums, I'm not just playing drums. I'm doing yeah. math, I'm looking at the time, I'm looking to see if we need to continue the song, how much more music do we need to play in order for us to make the time before yeah. the set is ending. Um, so, you know, I just really make sure that there's a there's just a plethora of things that need to happen uh, in order to make the show run. So I'm doing like 60 jobs at once. I'm even doing sound sometimes, mm -hmm. running off the stage to adjust yeah. the sound. Um, yeah, but just making sure that you plan ahead and communicate to everybody, be as transparent as possible because everybody needs to know what's going on. And then um, all my followers want to know how to manage your band that you handle. You have to build a relationship with everybody. Mm. Everybody's their own person. Yeah. Understanding that you have to treat people like people, that's so vital, is very, very important. Mm -hmm. So the same way I would talk to Zach, I can't approach Pavel like that, or I can't okay. approach Pavel the same way I approach Emmanuel, because everybody has their own uniqueness about them. So you still get the same message across, but once you actually learn somebody, yeah. the problem nowadays is that we don't learn people. Yeah. We just take them as they are. Yeah. We don't think about where they came from and why they may be a certain way. Mm -hmm. But if you actually just take time to listen to people talk, yeah, you know, it helps out a lot. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Dante, how to promote your band so everybody can know them? Oh, uh, promote my band. First, you can go to vortex.com, V4, the number four, TXX. Vortex.com to keep up with everything with the band and social media as well. Mm -hmm. Everybody has their own separate pages. I am going to create a social media account for the band and for everything that the company is doing really soon. But um, for me, you can follow me at Dante Kennedy on uh, Instagram. Yes, yeah. yes. Dante Kennedy is cool, man. Okay. As a manager, what do you think about the music career in Dubai? Um, the music in Dubai is pretty good. Um, I am on a mission though to help elevate at least what I can do in this room here. Yeah. Um, I don't like to stay stagnant. So mm -hmm. I'm not going to be a foreigner who comes to Dubai and get complacent. It's all about elevation and energy. And no matter how many songs we do yeah. per night, Wednesday to Sunday, how can we perform them better than how we did yesterday? Yeah. Because like I was telling the gentleman in before I came out here, you never know who's watching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So making sure that you implement a good show every single night is super important to me. So yeah. always trying to raise the bar because I do not want to settle. Once you settle, then people get bored. Yes. And the audience can tell whether they, whether they play instruments or not, they can tell if you're giving your all because they can actually feel what you're playing. Yeah. That's, that's right. important to me. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what do you do as a manager if one of your member can perform in the schedule? If a member can't perform, yeah. immediately I would like to know if they can't perform so I could try to find somebody else. It's important, you gotta <laughs> communicate, you gotta communicate. If you're not communicating, you will fail. Um, yeah. So for me, if somebody can't perform, I have to find someone, then I have to communicate with management here at the hotel. It's a lot of working parts just to perform in this room, uh, you know, per se, but um, having a catalog of musicians and singers that you can pull from yeah. at any given time, that's super important. Do you have plan to release their own song for public? Mm -hmm. I do. I signed a global distribution deal three months ago with Sony Music mm -hmm. and The Orchard with my company, Vortex Music Group. So we're going to be releasing some music later on this year and next yeah. year. Um, and I do want to do original music with the artists that we bring here and cues yeah. to have them, you know, release music here, also perform that same yeah. music and then having uh, another stream of revenue so they can make money outside of just performing on stage. Now yeah. people can get money from streams and stuff like that. That's, that's right. the that's the, yeah. that's the purpose. Okay, if you talk about manager, as a manager, could you share to my subscriber how to ever perform at cafe or bar in Dubai, any special uh, requirement? Oh, well, I'm actually taking submissions um, for anybody who wants to perform. I am working here. This mm. is this is my main source. This is this okay. is number one for me. But there's been a couple people who have reached out to me who would like to get the type of entertainment that I'm connected to. Yeah. Um, so people can submit their their videos or music to submissions 
uh, what is it? Submissions.v4mg at gmail.com. I'll send you the information yeah, too. Yeah. Um, and they can go in there or check out the website because I have a link on there for submissions yeah. for people who want to have a chance to perform on the stage in mm -hmm. Dubai. And we'll fly them over and give them an opportunity. Okay. Yeah. So what do you next uh, future plan for your panel? We're going to take over the world. Mm. The band. Now that we have Zach, yeah. Playing guitar, oh uh -huh. my gosh. <laughs> That's going to, it's already, it's already going to just level up everything. Me and him have been talking about this since December. So, you know, I'm finally able to put oh, missing yeah. pieces together mm. and make it blend. And, and now really the plan is just to let everybody know that we are here to stay. Mm -hmm. We are an unstoppable force. And it's not like we're in competition with anybody. Yeah, you yeah. know, everybody's great at whatever they do in their own That's lane. Right, yeah. But when you come in cues, you're going to hear something different that you didn't hear yeah. somewhere else. And that's the purpose. Make them think different. Make them, you know, understand that there's just another level to get to. Ah, perfect. Yeah. So what do you own future plan? Future plan is mine. Yes. Yeah. You know, my wife told me earlier today, I need to, I need to relax. Mm -hmm. But I don't want to just do that. I have mm -hmm. to I have to figure out some other things. I'm being pulled on a lot in the UAE and mm -hmm. I want to make sure that my company is established and that the foundation is uh, set completely. Um, because if the foundation is set correctly, mm -hmm. you know, you can't really it's hard to be pushed over and fall down. It's harder to get back up. So foundational setup and creating longevity, not just for me, but for the yeah. people who I haven't even met yet. Mm -hmm. That's important. So I'm going through a lot of hell and fire right now. So it's easier for somebody else to walk through the door with ease. Okay. That's what I'm doing. Okay. Yeah. You know what? In Indonesia, a lot of uh, people or teenagers now, they love for coming be as musician. Mm -hmm. So can you say something to them about... Being a musician? Yeah. Yeah, sure. You know, studying your craft is always uh, very key, it's very beneficial. You know, in a quick story, my dad told me when I was younger, he said, you better learn how to read music because one day, you Quincy Jones, if, she, if he ever calls you and he puts you in the studio, there's no rehearsals, he gonna give you sheet music and know what you're doing. And then how crazy is that? that I actually start working yeah. at cues. Now granted, I don't have to read sheet music even though I can, but understanding that you need to be prepared for what you think may come yeah. and for just the things that may be thrown your way. Yeah. Um, that's super imperative to study your crap. And when one thing, musicians, please learn everybody's part. Yeah. Learn the lyrics to the singers, learn this, learn the lyrics to the rappers. That way, if you're playing drums, you can accent off different things, different phrases, learn dynamics so you don't have to play so hard on every song, get the right symbols, get the right sounds, whatever it may be, because you get one impression. Yep. And you got one shot for somebody who's never seen you or heard you before to know within that seven to 15 seconds if they're going to continuously listen or if they're going to pick up their phone and scroll yep. or if they're never going to watch you or hire you again. That's right. So yeah, study your craft, learn who you are and be comfortable. Be comfortable with what you do. And then the most important thing is trust yourself. Trust yourself. Yeah, and then be yourself. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Dante. Thank, thank you, you so much. for your time. I appreciate it. I'm so glad <laughs> <laughs> with you in Rare Talk. Can you say Rare Talk? Rare Talk. Rare Talk. Rare Talk? Yes. Rare Talk. <laughs> <laughs> in Bahasa, it's Terima Kasi. Uh, say it again. Terima Kasi. Terima Kasi. Yeah. It's Ooh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. I want to learn. Can you say it? Terima Kasi. Yeah. Good. Let's go. Okay. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. Cool. See you next episode. Bye bye. A lot of communication, organizing, mm -hmm. and understanding the task of what you need to do to. Uh, make the shows run. For instance, when I play drums, I'm not just playing drums. I'm doing yeah. math. I'm looking at the time. I'm looking to see if we need to continue the song. How much more music do we need to play in order for us to make the time before yeah. the set is ending?